Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Movie Snips. Today we're going to be talking about the Nebenwelt, the Nazi dimensional portal device that was prominently featured in the TV series The Man in the High Castle. Before I get further into this, please remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. In German, uh, Die Nebenwelt means the other world or the world besides. Die Nebel the Nebenwelt, also known as Project 701, was a scientific project overseen by the Einerherb Institute of the Greater Nazi Reich and directed by Dr. Joseph Mengel. Its goal was to produce a quantum tunneling device that could artificially replicate the means by which travelers were able to physically travel between alternate parallel worlds. Reichsfuhrer Heinrich Himmler sought to use uh, Die Nebenwelt to, act, to gain access to these alternate worlds in order to conquer and invade them for the Reich. It was also likely th that the Reich had an interest in infiltrating these alternate worlds in an effort to neutralize any perceivable threats that could put the Reich in jeopardy. It was situated in the Poconos Mountains deep within the Lakwana coal mine in the Poconos uh, near Scranton, Pennsylvania. I'll discuss the more obscure significance of this particular location later in the video. The site was chosen not only because of its proximity to a rare anomaly, a particularly thin area in the space-time continuum, which would make it easier to travel to alternate worlds, but keeping the device underground would partially contain the damage caused if the device catastrophically malfunctioned. It was estimated that the blast from such a device would have the explosive yield of a small atomic bomb. When activated, the device consumed enough power to light up a small city and caused the anomaly to emit a very intense electromagnetic field and a blindingly bright light as it forced open the portal. It should be noted that destroying this device became a top priority of Julia Crane and the other members of the resistance forces. Juliana decided to de destroy the device herself to prevent the Nazis' plans of conquest and entered Reich territory from the neutral zone with the help of black market smuggler Wyatt Price. If the de device was destroyed, the Nazis would have lost their ability to re rebuild the device or construct a new one, because the device's destruction would also destroy the space-time continuum anomaly it relied on to function in that particular location. After their initial attempt to destroy the device failed, uh, Juliana was captured and taken with uh, taken prisoner with Hawthorne Abinson, Ab Ab uh, Abinson, also known as the Man in the High Castle, along with his wife Caroline to a Nazi prison in New York City. Hawthorne was seen as a key player in uh, D. Nebenwell's progress because of his knowledge of interdimensional physics. At this point in time, Wright's Marshal John Smith would take an interest in D. Nebenwell as he saw it as a means to finally see his dead son Thomas whose alternate world analog was alive and healthy. In this alternate world, the Nazis has been, had been defeated by the Allies in the United States and the former Soviet Union were engaged in a heated nuclear arms race. Uh, Hawthorne later revealed to Smith that Himmler's dream of, of, multiverse, of a multiverse empire was impossible because individual human beings could only travel to other worlds where they did not already exist. Smith was able to travel to this alternate world because his counterpart had already been killed. If someone attempted to travel to a world with a living counterpart of themselves already existing in it, they would simply die during the attempt. The Reich also sent numerous operatives through uh, uh, Die Nebenwell into the alternate world. The operatives were sent on reconnaissance missions and made to blend in into that world society with corresponding clothing and money. The operatives studied and recorded all aspects of life in the alternate world, uh, scientific advancements, religion, culture, the geopolitical environment, the state of the world's nations, uh, notably the United States and the Soviet Union. Fans of the TV series have pointed out several logical inconsistencies that relate to Dean Nebenwell. Uh, first of all, while copies of people can only transcend universes if their counterpart in the other universe is dead, presumably an unlimited number of clothes as well as tapes, um, basically inorganic objects, can, tra can traverse between universes. Presumably, this law only applies to human beings and possibly animals, but not to inorganic material. Uh, secondly, we never really get a clear explanation as to why Juliana Crane is a special individual, 
and is a key component to the events of every universe, and why our actions in one universe seem to have a profound effect on the events of the alternate universes. Uh, Juliana Crane is also the only traveler with an additional ability to see through the memories of her alternate, se of her alternate selves after seeing or touching specific people or objects. This, too, is not explained in detail. Another conundrum that is left unanswered is why the device only seems to connect to worlds that have something to do with World War II and not any other events in history. It never reveals worlds in which the Confederacy never lost the Civil War or America never gained its independence from Britain or Alexander the Great never defeated the Persian Empire, to give a few examples. Finally, the audience is given uh, an insight, uh, the, the, the audience isn't given, given any insight into how the device itself works in respect to what technology it uses to tap into the dimensional rift located within the mind. The science behind the device is largely speculative. Just before I end this video, I'd like to point out an interesting fact that ties into the dimensional anomaly in the Poconos. Many of you may not be aware of the fact that the Lackawanna coal mine in the Poconos Mountains of Pennsylvania is situated on a particular access point in respect to powerful ley lines, uh, whether you believe in this phenomenon or not, that intersect over this location. Uh, the mine is situated at 41.4167 degrees north and 75.7152 degrees west. This is noteworthy because Mount Shasta in Northern California lies on the 41st parallel north in terms of latitude and the enigmatic Nazca lines of Peru lie on the 75th meridian west in terms of longitude. Both these locations are hotbeds of supernatural slash paranormal activity with many UFO sightings and other anomalies being reported at these locations. It has been rumored that Mount Shasta in particular acts as some kind of interdimensional portal that allows otherworldly beings to visit our world. Perhaps the location of the mine in the TV series wasn't chosen by coincidence. I'd like to thank you for watching my video today. If you think I missed anything or would like to add anything to, to this discussion, please comment down below. Please also remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and please check out my channel for more lore videos.